currently uh, for a population of 30 million people we have hopefully in, in your words about 255 ambulances um, I, I remember there was a lot of fanfare and ceremony around the purchase of some 300 ambulances uh, a few years ago have we, how many ambulances have we added since that the purchase of those uh, 300 Okay, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity this morning. And before I go on, let's put the discussion in the right perspective so that our listeners will appreciate where the National Ambulance Service started from and where we are at the moment. We all do know that not until 2004, there was no emergency medical service in terms of pre-hospital care in our country. And so after the unfortunate 2001 Accra Sports Stadium disaster, the National Ambulance Service was established in 2004 as a result of one of the recommendations from the Commission of Enquiry that investigated that unfortunate incident. The service started with just seven ambulance stations as a pilot in three regions, three in Greater Accra, three in Ashanti region, one in Eastern region. As we speak now, we have grown from that seven pilot stations with just 64 emergency medical technicians to a total of 297 ambulance stations in every constituency of this country. And for that matter, every district has an ambulance station. And in addition, there are a few at a very strategic location, making the total of 297 ambulance stations which we are running with the 300 ambulances that I mentioned earlier. And so that is how far we've come, as far as the service is concerned. And I can also say that within this period, if you even take from 2020 down to 2024, when we receive these new ambulances, we've been able to respond to cases, averagely about 35,000 cases every year. And so the service have been doing this and most of these cases are medical and trauma when you say trauma you are talking about traffic crashes that we respond to at any point in time and so coming back to your question hmm. and with this background we received this new um, uh, the new ambulances in two, uh, 2020 the 300 ambulances in 2020 and we've been using these ambulances over the period. And as we speak now, we just received additional 26 ambulances, which are of the Toyota Hill type, which uh, we are now registering them, and very soon we will distribute them to various locations. These ones are going to be used for rapid response at advanced life support ambulances, so that in case of any emergency in our emergency, these ambulances will take the lead and go after a rapid response, stabilize the patients before the other ambulances, if they need be, will also join when it comes to large and mass casualty incidents. So this is what so far we have been able to do. Can you explain Thank that you. Uh, one more time? So you are buying, uh, you, you've bought, sorry, 26 new ambulances, which you are registering, and they are going to be used for rapid response. I, I thought ambulances are for rapid response anyway what i mean is that we are the the we are going to set them up in every region as advanced emergency medical response teams who are going to do this i'm like you know there are cases that some of our emcs are unable to manage because of its sophisticated nature and so these ones are going to be tailored for where uh, the advanced medical, medical technologies whom we have trained are going to man where they can do intubation and higher level of airway management will be done in those ambulances. That's what I mean. Mm. 